Okay, as I promised you, I'm going to show you how to make a fairy door. So I just picked out some random earthy colors. And I'm going to start kneading. It's kind of an olive green. I could have used brown, but and I do have brown, but I like the way the greens and yellows and pinks go together, so I thought it would be a nice little uh, match or contrast. So I still haven't brought my um, pasta machine in the house so we are using one of these rollers which is good nothing as good as a pasta machine but what I want to do is I want to flatten this out and I have some pink in there which I don't want right now so I'm just gonna scrape that out All right, so keep flattening it. And I Okay. All right, so we've got that flat. And I have this texture plate which uh, kind of looks like wood so I'm going to put it right on top and then I'm going to roll the texture plate peel it off and yes we have some wood okay now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to Cut the shape so it's a door. And I'm actually going to take advantage of this you know, weird shape here. Okay. something in my door okay there so now we have next your most important tool that you're ever going to use and that is your Toothpick. Sorry about that. I didn't know I was out of the shot. Okay. And you just leave an indent. Whoa. Cheap toothpick. Into In each leaf. Let's just score an indent right down the center. You can use toothpicks. You can use shish kebab sticks. Those are good too. Anytime you see something around your house, you think, oh, this would be good in clay. Straws. Okay, now you're going to just make little, some more little scores. And those are for, to continue the, to make the leaves look better. So I'm going to do all these leaves. And I'm thinking about, see when I pull away, see what happens right there? That's why I think maybe we'll do something to give a little strength to that.
almost all the way around. You can also use um, like an X-Acto knife. That makes nice cuts. Okay, so we have all our leaves around our door. Okay. <clears throat> Now we need to make a little door um, knob and I'm going to use the same color as the wood. You can decide which side you want it on. Um, then I add texture. I'm going to just add texture with my toothpick because I don't want to push down and hit those leaves. Okay. And then we'll, how about a pink doorknob? Which is just a ball and push down on it. Okay, I had to dig through my stash because I have this cute little key. And we're just going to pop it straight into the doorknob. And then very gently push the opening tight. Okay. So I had said maybe I should do something with that. And I was thinking maybe just make some little latches and it'll hold the window in place so just going to take a couple pieces of green push down <clears throat> excuse me and then just make like some little nail holes or latch holes or and we'll put one right here too i tried to make the window thicker so that i could once i put it in i could flatten it more but that didn't work so we're just going to add those <clears throat> all right now one of the final things would be to make the flowers so I'm going to use some yellow and make tiny little circles and you just start adding the circles. Uh, you can make three little circles touching and then add some pink in the center. And then you can add uh, creases in the flower. You can also just put a circle, put a crease down one way and then the other way with a little pink center. I'm going to take this translucent that has these colors, swirl it just a tiny bit because I don't want to mess up the, you can start off with a circle then flatten it into a tube or roll it into a tube, then flatten it on your hand, stretch it a little, and then just attack, curl the bottom so that the bottom stays small and the top stays wide. Put it flat like this on your leaves and just flatten it a little. Now some people can make fantastic roses and when I put my mind to it I can too but we're not doing that right now. Here's another flower. Oops. We'll make a pink flower. 
We'll just roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. You can also make similar to the other, just make three little dots, but don't have them touching. One, two, three. And make you can do teardrops. Taking the narrow part to the center and I would make five kind of like a daisy and there you go a little yellow center little dots so it's good to if you're going to add so many flowers it's good to add your flowers and threes the similar ones you don't, you don't want to have a perfect assortment of flowers of course that's up to you but aesthetically it's nicer to have the odds and I don't even know how many I have right now I just keep adding flowers. What's fun is you could make a Valentine fairy door, an Easter fairy door, 4th of July, Halloween, Christmas, etc. Especially if you sell these, you know, on the internet or at craft shows. Gives people idea like, oh, I could change up my fairy door for every season. I have like a fairy doors attached to trees outside. Okay. So. Just keep adding your little flowers to the door until you're satisfied and because I don't want this video to go on forever I'm going to stop there now you would put this in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes it's fairly thin so we don't have to do it much more than that and now for about at 265, no, 275, I'm sorry. Used to be 265 a long time ago. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. After you bake it, let it cool before you touch it. If you want to attach it to a tree, you just, before you bake it, add a spot for the nail. I'm just using a pen, push right through. And there you go. Okay. I don't know what I'm going to make next. Maybe I'll make a little fairy to live in the, the behind the fairy door. Okay. Thanks so much. And I'll see you next time.